off of that, but if he's too high off the ground or he's off the ledge, I don't think he gets much out of it. it it's, so, yeah. So let's, let's jump on to the other side of Winner's Semis to see yes. who our final Winner's Finals contestant will be. We got Utopian Ray fighting off against DA Venya. Now, Ray actually won one of those uh, Naifu Wars tournaments that happened recently. Really? Yeah. He entered one of the online tournaments, got the victory, and he was or he was just like bragging about it. Yo! Okay. I'm not... I don't need to tell you this. I don't need to tell you his backstory because he just <laughs> deleted Venya's stock in the first 20 seconds of this game. Look, he's winning the Naifu Wars. He's winning the Waifu Wars right now. He's taking your Laifu in this war right now, oh making God. that stock look like nothing. Shout-outs to the Laifus, honestly. Oh, you see... He went for the reverse, actually fly, flinging behind him. There we go, neutral air, oh, great combo starts. And with the patch, you know, it doesn't really nerf it or buff it. It just makes the sequence not take as long. So yes. we're not here looking at our watch. Okay, can we get these Paloon airs out of the way? No, that, that's actually a great, great change. I love it that is. change. Yo, okay, legit, the smash. I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold my breath until he gets back up stage. Okay, he's good. Um, the patch notes were some of the most intelligent I have ever seen this back. Oh, my Again? God! That's Again? a punish? Again? Yo, that was actually sick. Out of a parry? That was actually sick. I have never seen anyone ever parry Shadow Sneak recovery into something like that. He was so ready for that. Something I want to point out is that Venia. Venia is probably one of the best Greninjas out there. Finally gets a kill. I have never seen Venia lose two stocks that quickly, just like that. in my life. No, I've never like I've never seen like a dominant win against Venia. If I've ever seen anyone beat Venia, it's always close. You that know? was not circumstantial either. That was not like oh I'll throw out a down air and hope he lands into it. That was a purposeful. I'm going to parry yeah. you and send you to hell. Hard sort call of setup. Out. Yeah, that was so good. My man's oh wrestling my with God. Hades down there. <laughs> Twice he, he had a return trip going Yo. back into third stock. Did you see how smart that was where he did the fastball into the bear because a tilt on stage would have taken too long and not been as good of a punish. He's so on top of it with the parries. Now, I'll see if any can bring this back, because hold on, he's starting to adapt. Ray may have gotten those really good first two reads, but Venia can easily bring this back, knowing Venia as a player. Very yeah. solid player, but as I say that, Look another him, parry parrying. into a grab. He doesn't even care. I'm shocked. Like, this is not the Ray I'm used to watching. Yo, that's good though. Oh, he's even got the little tilt there. He was ready to block that. He was waiting it out. Okay. That was a smart low profile with the dash attack mm. there. You'll notice that Venian goes for that a lot. Like down tilt and dash attacks, he gets so much off of. Gets a lot of mileage off of the combo damage or it can lead into a confirm as well. Notice I'm throwing out a water shuriken just in case Ray wants to recover low. He opts to go for a double jump instead to avoid it. I'm surprised that wasn't a punish there over because it looked like Venia was ready for Ray to cover on stage, but he just sort of stayed there. Let's see. Some more neutralers. Okay. Oh my god. Dash okay. attack. We just smack him with the shield. Ray's going to take away game number one pretty convincingly. That was. On it. That was such, such a good punish with the parry. Like, grounded parries against aerial attacks. Okay, ground to ground parries, sure. Parrying someone else's recovery yeah. into a spike is next level punish. That is the kind of stuff that I love to see with this mechanic. Now, I normally don't gush over Ray that much. Like, it's, yes. there's something, something's in the air today for him. Like, he, <laughs> he's. He, he has a mission. I think he has the potential to win this entire Xeno if he keeps playing like this. Yes. Let's see. Okay, that was just game one. This could easily backfire on him. We'll see if Venya yeah. can adapt because Venya is let's, definitely good at doing that. Let's not curse a man just because he yeah. paid. He did some hella high. Ray's play, never, I'm still flustered thing is, by that. Ray's never won a Xeno before for ultimate. So meanwhile, we got Venya with two wins, I believe. Maybe three. I, I, I miscount. He's done at least two wins. Well, it's looking very strong as a start, but... First blood does not mean the win. So yeah. we'll see. Good platform chase on there. Goes for the fair, but then moves back with the nair to cover additional options. Ray is very smothering, but not particularly committal. He'll play very safe, but he wants you to know that he can throw that hitbox out there. Great catch. Yep. Oh, weaves in and out. Very nice. It this is kind the, of difficult. This is the adaptation I was talking about, man. You see him. He's already got that 133%, barely taking a single swig of a hit. And when he does, manages to escape. I wonder if that was because like Ray just had a little bit too much rage, so I couldn't get that Nair to confirm, or if he was trying to go for something a little bit greedy. Regardless, good grab, forward throw. We saw the sparks, but no death. Uh, that looked like it was trying to be a platform cancel, but doesn't quite have the spacing. Does get sent back out. This is a really awkward spot to be in for Palutena. Yeah. He can get back on stage. Oh, but he reverses it. Oh, there, there we there go. Is. Great cross-up coming from Venya. Kills him off that platform, and he has a pretty solid lead. 46% only. Yep. But this is still... Good call. I, I love that evasion, but the thing is, you know, he, he's not going to be able to, he has a lot of lag when he lands back down onto the stage. He does. Off and of the, the hydro pump. See, 
Explosive Flame for how non-committal, and honestly, it's kind of dinky looking it is. It's an exceptionally strong denial tool. Oh, you want to go down low, you have to deal with Explosive yeah. Flame now. It's oh, going to eat your double jump, high. it's going to eat your air dodge. Exactly. In this case, it is up B. Honestly, take the grab over the Explosive Flame. Charge it down smash, just in case he wasn't going to go for the uh, the ledge. Opt to go for the stage instead. Great follow-up, had was, the wrong direction. That was a super... Oh my god, that was such a good call-out too, because he knew it wouldn't combo it there, or that he could have teched there. So he was ready and waiting for it, and he just didn't have the right direction. And honestly, shame. if he went for a down smash instead, would have covered both options. Uh, you know, I think you've got a good point on that. Up throw that on the ledge. You see him, that magnifying glass getting super small, because he knew the follow-up was coming. Had to go for the double jump, sitting at 139%. Ray... Struggling to find some stage control here. All right. That explosive flame will allow him a safe return, but it doesn't get him back on stage just yet. Venya sort of backing off, letting Toby and Ray get back to center stage, and we're back to true neutral here. I don't know. I think when these two come to blows, ooh, very nice. When these two come to blows, it's really hard for, to say that one of them wins over the other as far as trades go. Palutena gets a little bit more out of errant hits and her confirms, but... God damn, this bench have some kill power. I'm sorry. It's sports. No, I, they, it, it's fine, dude. It's a local, man. Let it, let it rip. Yeah. All right, here we go. Dash attack, trying to figure this out. Yep, that was a very safe option to pressure his get up there. Not committing to anything too hard. Still kept the stage control, but he's back out there now, and he's got to work his way back to center stage with Palutena. You saw Ray trying to look for that game changer there with a the down air. That would have connected, could have easily taken away that stock. Ray is going to have to work for this to come back. Good explosive flame. That was actually kind of tricky to get out of there. That, oh my god, he just called it out. Okay. Yeah, he, saw, he recognized that Jen was going to go for that double jump, try to recover high. Vinny had a forward error at the right. He's going to take away game number two from Ray. So into the final game to decide who's going to move on to winner's finals to face off against King Ark. That was a night and day, game one and game two. Yeah. If you told me those came from the same set and you just showed them you know, two separate days, I would totally believe you. And honestly, I don't think that was a stage thing. There's no way no. that he got that big of a buffer stage. I think that was just Venia. Honestly, fine. Okay, I see what you're up to. You're not going to get these down airs on me anymore out of these parries. I know how to recover now. Let's jump into this game three and see if Ray can come up with the counter strategy. Yep. And see, that's what makes Venia one of, if not the best Red Ninja in the world, is that he's clean with his execution. He's clean with his choices, but he adapts well. Uh, the other games that we've seen him on stream here, he has shown the ability to change and to work even when it looks bleak like that. When you get two stocks taken in two minutes, however short a time it was, he's coming back and he had a convincing game too. So now Ray here with the adjustments though. I'm really surprised the close play didn't get him. And there. great adjustments at that, man. You saw him just following Venya, but now you're going for a kind of greedy recovery. Like right in front of him, he gets caught by that down smash, sour spot, and take some damage. Yep, spacing out with there, but Venya actually beats that out with fair. That's a very good call for there. It's just go for the up tilt up air, you know? It confirms. Just go for it. That was a good confirm right there. Oh, call out with a shuriken. I'm pretty sure that he is double jump, so he has to go for the warp. Yep. Another back air, follow the ledge jump. That was anyone's trade right there when they went up at the same time. Uh, Trying to ooh. mess with the recovery, goes for the down smash he's instead. Not, he's not leaving anything up to chance. Both yep. sides, get him out. Uh, Benia actually trapped him right there, because if... if Ray didn't opt to go for the stage, opt to go for the ledge instead. Vinny could have easily trapped him with either the down smash or go for another hydro pump since he was in free fall. Just push him off a little bit. That so. was an excellent trap. Yeah, just great ledge gameplay coming from Vinny as he goes into this with three stocks on his final game. Mm -hmm. Palutena calling him out when he burns both jumps for his approach there. Gets off the stage, though. That may be a really bad idea. Nope, he reverses it back. Okay, great DI from Venya, DIing away from the down air, but get double jumps right into an up air. They're both just calling each other out for these high double jumps. Well, see, the thing is, is that a lot of their aerials, although you're locked in them for a while, they're not as committal as they would look to be if you put them in a vacuum. They're very easy to toss out. It's like, oh, let me get a confirm, let me get this, let me get that. Especially when they're so back and forth and both characters are so fast. We see them go from the ledge back to center stage, reverse who's an advantage, who isn't, so quickly that going for those errant hits that can net you those kills is something you might honestly need to do in a matchup like this. And Venya's starting to cook up here. Get these up airs. Goes for the Shadow Sneak. That was a little bit of a hard call. Doesn't quite pay off. Good parry. No punish there. Mistimes the buffer. I wonder if he tried to go for a dash grab. Afterwards. Yeah, he did. It looks like he mistimed that. Uh, depending on the strength of what you hit, the buffer seems to be a little bit different. So he buffered it slightly early. Okay, again, Ray. The heat. 
Ray was double jumping constantly to avoid these falls, but eventually Venia is like having one of the highest jumps in the game. Will get up there and catch you with that up air. Yep, that's a good call on auto reticle. If you jump over that, that is like a standard fireball punish. You get in there and you make Palatina pay for trying to zone you out. What's interesting is that Venia hasn't been using neutral air as much as he usually does in matchups. And I think it's because of the disjointed hitbox that Ray has. He doesn't want to like risk it, which is why he's been going for a lot more down tilts and dash attacks instead of trying to stay more grounded. Because he knows if he gets caught by the Nair train. He's going for a ride he doesn't want to be on. Exactly. It's a lot of percent to eat, and that's not even something that would trade. I think that would just get eaten purely, like you're saying. Yeah. So I think going for fair, spacing out, and trying to play it real patient is the way to go. Especially because when you're... Oh, my God! Just Hit him with the shadow suit. Catch him, dude. Hit him with the goddess wings. You can't sneak past a goddess. She no. knows. Of course. She, she's all-seeing. Uh-huh. But now, Ray, 96%, looking pretty bleak. Let's see if he can try to bring this back. Not undoable, not unwinnable. Absolutely not, especially if he keeps the pressure on the ledge like this. He's got to try to keep him back out. He had stage control, air dodges to try to avoid the up smash follow up. It actually looked like he had the call out there for the jump, but wasn't ready for the punish with it. Let's see. Now, Ray's going to chill on that platform, sitting at 111%. Venia trying to get this follow up dash attack into the up air. Is that going to kill? Yes, yes it, it will! Is. Venia taking it two to one, moving on to winner's finals to face off against King Ark. Yo, that was very clean. That was very, very good. Although, I don't think that was um, so smothering a show from either side as it was that both were playing very solid and they made the changes where they yeah. need to. So I think that if a short story in three acts, you know, yes. act one was Venia, or sorry, was Ray turning up. And Venia responding in Act 2, and then Act 3 was them kind of going back and forth. So that, honestly, that was like a great set to watch. Yeah, yeah.